the 403 forbidden error means that your browser thinks you don't have permission to view the web page or internet resource at the address you specified. Running into this error will probably come as a surprise to you, unless you're a hacker that is. Try the following simple quick fixes to resolve this problem. First, refresh the web page. Press F5 or click the refresh button. Often an error like this is just a small glitch that's gone by the time you refresh the page. You can also just try again later. The server connection problem might be an extended glitch. If access to the site is low priority, wait an hour or two or even a day and try again. If the problem is ISP related, your ISP probably knows about it and will fix the issue soon. Also, make sure the URL is 100% correct and doesn't end with a forward slash, but rather with another resource extension such as .html or .com. This error can happen when you've typed an address for a resource that does exist, so you won't get a 404, but that normal users should not have access to. For example, you might be trying to access a directory of pages rather than just one page itself. You can also try a different device or connection. Try to access the same site from a different device, but on the same network where you got the error first. If you get the error again, try switching to a different internet connection to see if the problem is due to your network hardware or internet connection. Finally, you could just reset everything. If the 403 forbidden error on Google Chrome only happens on a specific internet connection, turn off your router or modem, wait a few seconds and then turn things back on again. Hopefully by rebooting your connection, the issue will solve itself. It's also possible for a 403 error to happen because you're trying to access a URL from your browsing history from when you were previously logged in on a site, but that login session has timed out. Go back to the login page for the site and then navigate to the resource again. These are the most likely solutions to a 403 forbidden error, but if you're still getting this error, check out the more advanced solutions in the article linked in the description below. See you next time.